La otra pregunta es, me parece bastante interesante porque sí es una cuestión que he oído en algunos casos eh, debatir y mm, me gustaría, como a David, conocer tu opinión. Y es que eh, parece que hay opiniones contradictorias sobre si el, el periodo de imprinting en perros y en lobos es igual, exactamente igual, o si por el contrario tiene diferencias en el inicio, en el final y en la forma de funcionar. Con tus conocimientos y el trabajo que hacéis en el World Science Center, ¿cuál es tu opinión en este aspecto? ¿El imprinting en perros y lobos es igual? ¿Es diferente? Y si es diferente, ¿cuáles son las diferencias principales? Um, it should be reserved for a certain kind of very rapid uh, learning, such as in goslings, for example, Gaelic goslings. Uh, so, uh, if we talk about socialization, there's certainly a big difference. The reason why we have to start hand raising wolves uh, in the age of 10 days, so before they open their eyes, uh, is that it only works if you do it like this. If and uh, Quite a number of people have already tried to do it differently too. And if you get the pups too late, if the eyes are already open, you get reasonably tame wolves, but you never get a wolf uh, who will trust you completely. So to get this deep trust, you have to raise them from very early on. This is not the case in dogs, because you can raise a dog pup um, um, uh, Scott and Fuller already in the 50s, 60s, Uh, did very nice experiments on this and you can, uh, can raise a dog pup with a minimal contact to humans and you will still get a nicely socialized dog, right? You never can, can do that with a wolf and I come back to the differences, genetic difference between dogs and wolves. The biggest uh, differences we find in the brain, in, in, the, in the genes which, uh, um, um, which uh, Uh, are responsible for brain development. So this seems to be a basic difference. So wolves have a much a much more narrow template in their brain uh, what should happen in their early development in terms of socialization. Whereas the template, uh, so the, the pattern in the brain of, of dog pups is, is much wider. So you hardly can do it. You, you, if, if you contact the dog pup from the age of, I don't know, three weeks of age regularly, so a few times a day, you get a nicely socialized dog pup, uh, even when it's raised by, by, the, by, by the mother. If you do that with a wolf, no chance, you get a shy wolf. So yes, there's big differences in that respect. And, uh, and dogs have uh, really adapted in that way to socialize with humans.